Welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM and today we're going to take a look at the new season 2032-2033. We are still in Skybat League 1. Uh, I have been able to play a few matches and we find ourselves in the uh, playoff zone. However, I don't really think that we're going to stay there for long. But, let's have a look at the schedule. So we have had uh, one game towards the Carabao Cup that we lost against Sheffield United, who are in the championship. Uh, we've also played the first match of the Papa John's uh, section. Uh, sorry, groups, um, group. So, uh, so that was okay. We've not had any losses towards the league yet, but um, we will. Our team is quite uh, weak, I think, and um, we've just been lucky, I think, so far. So. Looking at the squad, there's only two changes. I have not been able to improve the squad in any way, so that's why I'm not expecting to, um, you know, stay in the playoff zone for for long. Uh, we have one new goal goalkeeper, Luke Hutchinson. He's come to us on a free transfer from uh, Wycombe. Oh, he was with us before on a loan. Hmm, I, don't, I didn't remember that, but anyway, apparently he was with us before on a loan, and he didn't do too well. Uh, in the Vanarama North. So that was right at the beginning. That was the first season. The other player that is new is David Evans. He's our new um, central midfielder from our own youth setup. So we weren't able to improve. So I went and got um, someone from the youth setup just to cover that that hole in our in our squad. So the squad is still still the same. No changes apart from those two. Obviously, dynamics are excellent because we've not changed um, many players in the uh, in the structure. The David Evans and uh, Hutchinson are quite low because they're new to the club. Yeah, so that's it. Finance-wise, we had a, uh, uh, some income coming in through over the summer, but obviously we are already on on, on our way to the red. Uh. Excuse me, so much yawning. Um, yeah, so we're already on our way down again. So as soon as we uh, start the season, we're going to start losing loads of money. So, not really looking great, if you ask me. I'm going to go ahead and submit the team. Now, over the... Um, I've not actually posted a video in a while, but uh, over that time... Um, football manager has announced the, a major change to the game, a major revamping of the game for FM25. So the next game will bring some new features, but it will be largely still the same in terms of the game engine and the UI will still be largely the same. Apparently from 2025, for the edition FM2025, uh, we'll have a new match engine, completely new, based on the same engine that they use for games like uh, City Skylines. And um, and a new UI for the general like playing of the game, so outside match days. Um, so that's exciting. Also, uh, women's leagues are coming to FM from 2025, I believe. I saw... Um, some evidence. Actually, I think I mentioned this in the last episode. I saw some evidence of that uh, because they were recruiting on their website for um, a head of women's research. So, lots of changes to the game coming up in the next couple of years. 2025 will be the big one, the big relaunch. And then, I don't know, I might do a women's save. Who knows? Um, or I might stick with Hereford. Oh, the other thing they've mentioned as well is that from the next game, so from FM24, we'll be able to keep our saves and keep uh, importing them. They'll be compatible um, with future editions of the game. So if you want to keep playing the same game, the same database, the same save, um, but with the benefit of the new features, you I think that's what they mean by that, is that you'll be able to transfer your save from one edition of the game to the next and carry on. So that could be neat for people that have built a really nice save that they like. Obviously I don't know how that 
the database would still have to be the previous database, right? So I'm not sure how that would work. Um, would you have to import the, the database as well? Because that, that save game will be massive then if you have to import the database. I don't know. And the other thing you'll be able to do is play across different platforms. So you'll be able to keep your save and play against, you know, PC, Mac, and uh, consoles, etc. I'm not sure if that applies to the mobile game, though, for um, iOS. They also said that the new revamp of the game in 2025, that that won't apply to the mobile game, because the mobile game for iOS is just a comp completely different kettle of fish there. So, um, so that one will be slightly different than the others. So we are losing here against South End. I'm not even sure where South End is ranking at the moment in the table. <laughs> Two nil. Pause it there so we can put the league table up. Ah, they're quite close to us. So the other thing to check out as well for this save is the Patreon. You will be able to um, give a name to a new gen in this save. There's two ways you can do that. You can either uh, name a youth Eugen, a new gen or a senior squad new gen. And there are different subscriptions for that. And then what we do, if you do decide to go with a sub subscription, we uh, We'll just follow that new gen. Every every episode, we'll catch up with the new gen and see what they're up to, how they've improved, etc. Even if they leave the club. Pretty, pretty long game already, lots of highlights. Alright, half time. Let's do some subbing. Let me just resize now. David Evans has a yellow card. We definitely want to get him out. O'Shea. And then we have two strikers here, so might have to bring Dylan up to the striking position. That's four subs and we'll wait to do another one. Now I don't have a defensive midfielder to put there but I can stack another central defender. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Actually Hill can just drop down and then lock can do that. So we're playing with more players in the fence now. The really annoying thing about the whole thing is that um, 
as you can see our stadium's pretty full and it has been pretty full for the last couple of seasons but the board has not in increased uh, expanded our stadium and I think the sooner they would expand the stadium the sooner we'd be making more money but because they can't bring themselves to put up the upfront investment on that we keep getting further further uh, you know um, in more and more debt so it just makes it harder and harder for us to then be able to afford that expansion to the stadium which is a bit of a shame even though they've had it in their five-year vision for a long time as, as a club goal rather than the manager goal so it's up to them really to expand the stadium but um they just won't do it they have, they have to take it out a loan obviously to do it We have an injury here, we can't do anything about it, so let's just carry on. And it is definitely a loss against South End here. Alright, I'll catch up with you guys again in the um, February sort of time in the game. I'm going to progress until the transfer window and then see if I can improve the squad at all, which I don't think I'll be able to. But um, yeah, we'll catch up then. Thanks so much for watching until the end. And oh wow, seven months potentially. Um, and I'll catch up with you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.